thanks to J. Crew for sponsoring this video. I haven't really cooked on my channel that much. And honestly, I'm like a little bit scared too because people are so judgmental about the way that other people cook. It's so strange. I love cooking videos on TikTok, but I really just, I cannot stand the comments because everybody always has something to say. As long as I get a meal at the end of this, whatever I do, it's gonna work. When was your first kiss? I don't wanna tell this story. My first kiss, um, was a little bit traumatizing. I was 13, which I feel like is so little. I was two days before my 14th birthday, so I was almost 14. It was with this boy that I had known for years and I always thought was really cute. I hate talking about experiences that involve other people because then the only thing I can think about is them watching or like listening to this video and being like, I don't even know, just, ugh, ew. I just, I hate it, I really, I really hate it. It was kind of like a planned thing, like you just, you know how teenagers do. Um, there was a huge group of us all hanging out at his house. Like his family was there, his cousins were there, and they all wanted to go frog hunting. This huge group of people, a bunch of our friends, his younger cousins, like just this whole big ass group, hopped in a truck, went somewhere, like under a bridge. <laughs> To make a long story short, basically we went frog hunting, um, it was dark and we kissed for half a second and I think his mom saw and then he ghosted me, so... Best tip of your whole life, cut up your vegetables when you get them. Put them in a thing, best thing, makes cooking dinner so easy. Here you go. Good God, it is getting hot. Do you have FOMO? I think I used to really struggle with FOMO. Like if you would have asked me this six months ago, I would have said yes, absolutely. But I think I'm to a point now where I just don't, I don't care as much because I love being alone. And I feel like if I am feeling that way, I always just tell myself like there's gonna be other opportunities to go and hang out with people. There's gonna be other opportunities to go and do whatever these people are doing that I feel bad that I'm not a part of. I live by that now. Like I just don't, I don't care as much. Sometimes when I'm out and I am like doing stuff, the whole time I'm like, damn, I'm just really ready to go home. I'm so high maintenance when it comes to going out. Honestly, like I'm always, I, I like to drive my own car so I can leave whenever I want. I literally stayed up. I stayed out till 2.30 last night for probably the first time in like a very long time. And I did have fun, but like at the 12 o'clock mark, I'm just very, very ready to go home. And I didn't drive myself, so it wasn't like I could just peace out whenever I wanted to. And it was fun, like I still had fun. I'm not built for that. your own sense of style. I think a big part of finding your own sense of style is focusing less on what other people are doing and wearing and actually asking yourself what you like, as corny as that sounds. When it comes to the clothes that I actually pick and choose, I focus a lot on texture and color. My outfit is from J. Crew. J. Crew is actually sponsoring this video. I think my mom manifested this brand deal for me because she was telling me that J. Crew has some really nice spring summery pieces right now. And a few days later, here I am working with them. <laughs> I think something I've also learned recently is that it's okay to keep things more simplified and not every single outfit has to be some like 
big thing. If you watched my last video, I mentioned that I was going to the beach for a week with my family and I was telling my mom that I need to find some new like spring, summer, swim places to shop from. And my mom was telling me about J. Crew and how they have really good stuff for men and women right now and how their designer is amazing. All of these pieces that I'm showing you are from J. Crew Swim and Spring. This is their most size inclusive assortment ever, which is really great. I have really been into blues this season. I don't know what it is, but I'm wearing this silk cashmere crop t-shirt in the color navy and I'm also wearing these four inch stretch chino shorts also in the color navy. The material of this t-shirt is so nice. It's so comfortable and breathable and it was perfect for the beach. I don't have any shorts like this. I felt like they were just a nice classic short that I can wear with literally anything. Underneath that, I'm wearing the string hipster full coverage bikini bottoms and the string bikini top in the color iris. I've really been loving these darker cool tones for the summer. I know it's not very summery colors, but it is to me. I also got these nested hoop earrings. You guys know I'm a total silver girl. I got these New Balance 574 sneakers and I, I just also love these colors. Blue and yellow is such an unbeatable combo. Even though they have color, I feel like they're still neutral enough to pair with a lot of different things. I also have this button back linen tank top. And of course, underneath I'm wearing this French bikini top in the color navy and this classic full coverage bikini bottom. Also in navy, the sizes for their swim go from extra extra small to 3X and double zero to 24 plus double D in long torso style. So you will definitely find something that fits you and they are almost 100% sustainable. I always get nervous getting clothes online that they're not going to fit me, but the swim, the shorts, everything fit me really great and I was really happy about it. If you were looking for any spring summer pieces, especially swim, I will have the link down below or you can go to jcrew.com to shop their newest rivals. sitting here a lot and eating on camera. I would like to acknowledge that I am aware that I burned the vegetables, but whatever. Cheers. What's the most insane thing a man has said to you? One time I was at the grocery store and I was literally, I had headphones in, I was totally minding my own business. I was wearing a white shirt, it wasn't see-through, but it was cold, so like, they were hard. You know, but like, what are you supposed to do? Like, it just is what it is. Like it happens to everybody. And a man literally pointed at me. I was like walking down the aisle of the grocery store and I was like walking towards him. And he just was like staring at me and he was like speaking, but I literally had headphones in. So I like didn't even do anything. Like I didn't even react. Cause I was like, I don't want to speak to you. And then he like kept looking at me and kept talking to me. So I took one out and I was like, what? And he was basically like pointing to my nipples and was like, like they're just like really there. And I was like, yeah, like yours are probably there too. Like, I don't know what you want me to do about it. It was so bizarre. He was also with, I don't know if it was his mom or his girlfriend. I was like, you're a grown man. What are you doing? Have you ever been on birth control? What was your experience with it? Yes, I had the arm implant for about a year. I just recently got it taken out because I don't need it. <laughs> I didn't really have any crazy side effects. It didn't affect anything other than my period. I was having like two periods a month for like a solid nine months and it was really rough and they were like really long. And then it eventually went away, but I did get it taken out a couple months ago because I just, I wanted to. Which juice do you like the most? Grapefruit. Who was the person who made you sleep in a bed with nails? That is going to my grave. Have you been cheated on? Let me just say this. Every hot girl gets cheated on and it's extremely humbling, but then they eventually reach the realization that it was never about me and it wasn't about the other person. It was about them and they clearly needed to prove something to themselves. Have you ever betrayed somebody or ever been betrayed? Continuing on with that last topic, I think that was the most betrayal I've ever felt in my whole life. It's really crazy when you think something would just like never happen to you. And then it does and you're like, oh damn. That kind of betrayal though, oh my God, it makes you so ill. Like I have never ever felt like that ever in my whole entire life, ever. It's literally a feeling that I would not wish upon my worst enemy. But what doesn't kill you makes you stronger and you will get through it. And if you're going through that, I'm sorry. I know exactly how it feels. And God, I don't, I don't even like to talk about it because it's, 
such a personal thing and a hurt that I have never ever felt before and I have been hurt by many people in my life. This was such a different type of hurt that I can't even explain it, but it's whatever. You know, you live and you learn and you move on and you move on to something better. Cheers to that. Something you're looking for in the next relationship that wasn't in the last. Loyalty. Okay. I think that's all. Shout out to J Crew for sponsoring this video. I'm going to have links and everything down below for you guys to go and click on to check out. Thanks for watching. Bye.